Hello again my friends, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. I'm back at the park at this uh, beautiful reserve in Melbourne, Australia. And I was only looking for sick or dead trees. So the way I figure this park is approximately I don't know, two or three square kilometers and in this relatively vast area of trees I've only found three sick trees actually two dead ones and one that seems to be getting sick this one over here chances are that this tree will get really really sick in a few weeks or months and it'll die for sure it'll dry up and die now if we ask uh, an expert in, in trees I don't know the term if we could actually ask that person and you know to try to find out I mean what's what's going on with this tree I mean that person he or she would tell us hey uh, well this is normal in nature things get sick and and die and the name of the uh, the disease that we see on, on this tree is such and such yeah sure that's no problem what they don't know is the real cause of disease being activating being activated on on living matter in this case a tree and these energies or geopathies geopathic energies will literally activate the genetic structure of a tree of a person in a very bad way that's why we call them geopathic negative energies that come from earth from the ground let's continue having a look around see what else we can find on another video I talked about this particular tree that tree and the other one following the same line of sight that one over there so in this very vast park reserve with with beautiful eucalyptus trees gum trees as they call them here in Australia I've only been able to find two dead trees and a sick one so amongst maybe hundreds of trees I've only found three that can actually deserve some attention so you can get to um, you know the conclusion that finding geopathies in nature is not a common occurrence it's not something that it is easily found all the time but when you find them 
and for example in this case of this tree and you know the other one I just showed you the geopsis have a tendency to be very bad for real and they kill everything in their path without a doubt So let's say for example that we had a, a house located where that tree is. Let's say on the same exact spot of a bedroom. What do you think it will happen in a matter of I don't know, months, maybe years, to the person or people sleeping or living on top of that thing. I can really tell you that the energy coming from a geopathic zone as this one can be deadly to human beings and to trees as you can see this thing is completely dead something to think about for sure Then again, not everything is bad or negative or, as I call it, anti-life. The thing is that today I'm only looking for, you know, geopathies, negative stuff that can actually have a very bad impact on, on life, on people. Maybe on another video, I'm going to try to find areas with positive energies, which are exactly the opposite of geopathies. Areas where you can actually gain good health and, I guess, charge up your battery, your human battery. Thanks for watching my friends, see you on the, my next video.